Hi my beautiful Cancerians, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Angel Love 333, hope everybody is doing fantastic, getting ready here to do uh, your reading, hope you're doing well. I just want to remind everybody that these are general readings, they may not resonate with everybody, and since I do Cancerian often, just know I can pull in different energy, okay? Reading your comments, uh, there are a couple people that keep... Uh, I'm just going to say keep commenting the same thing. I don't want this person, you know, this and that. And what I have to say to that, you know, why are you watching then? Okay, so, um, you know, remember what we uh, put into the universe, we get back. So if you're putting negativity into the universe by commenting, making negative comments, uh, your your life's not going to change, right? You're going to, if you dwell on the negativity, okay? I just want to put that out there. Stay positive. You know, you can, um, you know, some of you may want to reconnect with somebody uh, from your past. That's okay, right? Have that hope, but, you know, you don't have to wait for that person either. So with that cancer, I just want to make that little comment there. So let's get started. Let's see what the energy is here from a beautiful Cancerians. Okay. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Well, Cancer, somebody definitely has you on the brain. <laughs> that what is what I'm feeling here. Okay, we got uh, four of swords and we have the eight of swords. Now they could be an air sign or have strong air in their chart, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But I feel like there is someone who is definitely has you on their mind. This is somebody who is in their thoughts about you heavily, okay, very heavily. Now, what I'm seeing here, we got a page of cups and your energy. So it does feel like there could be some sort of communication. This could tell me that somebody, um, you know, feels like maybe they owe you an apology, but also tells me this is definitely somebody who wants to connect with you. Uh, too soon to know who this is. As always, you know, we will do some clarifying. Queen of Cups, this is uh, your energy. And then we also have a Knight of Pentacles as well. Could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Virgo. Also picking up Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And look at this. We have a Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Okay. The Knights are movement, so it does feel like there could be somebody who is making their way to you. Um, you know, that Knight of Pentacles can tell me this is somebody who is interested in courting you, dating you, but let's see what else comes through for you, Cancer. What else can you share with Cancer about this energy? Now, it could also tell me, you know, it doesn't have to be a love, you know, uh, situation. It could be a friend as well. It could be somebody who wants to be consistent in your life as well. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. The Ace of Swords. Cancer, what's going on here? Two of Wands and the Tower. Okay. <laughs> Bottom of the deck here, we do have the Five of Wands. Interesting. Let's see what's below that. We got a King of Swords here as well. Well, I definitely see somebody who is thinking about you. And it really feels like they're thinking about the long term. They're thinking about the potential here of stability, security, okay, could be a long-lasting relationship here. We're going to go back and we're going to clarify, but I want to uh, see what else we have here. We have the Ace of Swords right there with the Page of Cups. So there's something here about communication. Communication, clarity, can talk about a fresh start. Okay, like I said, some of you, maybe this is somebody who owes you an apology, but there's definitely a situation here where somebody wants to connect with you. Right, I'm going to say here, this could be a new love interest. This could be somebody who is flirting or hinting with you. Now, I'm going to say that when this page shows up, it's somebody who is coming to you genuinely. So I do feel like maybe this person has something to say. 
and I do feel it will be genuine. You also have here uh, the Two of Wands. Okay, Two of Wands with the Queen of Cups. This is somebody thinking about you. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're thinking about the potential, I feel, in the future. This is somebody thinking about the future. I feel for some of you, there could be some distance involved, even, you know, possibly here travel distance. Um, you know, I don't know why, but I almost get like huh, a longing here. Maybe somebody is seeing you travel. That's potentially that energy as well. Um, but there's also you know, some sort of action. Somebody's making a decision here to take some sort of action. Now, what's interesting with that Knight of Pentacles, you have the tower, okay? It almost feels like, you know, um, this person has been slow to come towards you, but it's like something unexpected happens here. So we're going to clarify. We're going to see what that is about um, and then you got the five of wands here. Interesting enough. I may have to clarify that as well. All right. I'm going to start off here with that four of swords and we're going to clarify what is this person, what is this person thinking about or why is the four of swords here? Hmm. It says you came closer to anyone Oh, and my phone just beeped here. <laughs> I forgot to put it on silent. And it says, I want to be more than friends. Okay, what I'm getting there, I'm going to turn uh, my phone off, Cancer. Okay, there we go. I feel like this is somebody interesting enough. I get two things here, Cancer. Some of you, this is a newer energy. This is This could be a friend around you. And this is someone I feel they feel very close to you, okay? And they're thinking about the potential here for the long term. They've been in your their head about you. I feel like this is someone um, that probably has held back a lot. But I'm also going to say I feel like this could also be somebody that you already know maybe you dated this person or maybe you were with this person it feels like it could also be a situation where you are separated with somebody who um, was just very casual with you in the past and you got really close to this person's heart okay it's like now this person is really stuck in their thoughts about you whatever your situation is so that's what i'm feeling there I'm going to clarify, I'm going to move these over. I want to clarify this Eight of Swords as well. I'm going to use a different deck. Why is this Eight of Swords here, please? Why is this Eight of Swords here, please? Hmm. Interesting. You have Legal Matters. And you also have here Fears. Okay. So there's something here, either I'm getting here... Um, this there's definitely this is justice energy somebody who wants to do it right okay look at that the ace of pentacles this may be somebody who knows that if they're going to be with you they have to, they have to have something to offer for the long term it's got to be something long lasting so they may get that impression from you cancer um, I feel like this person has fears of doing the right thing sorry I'm a little shaky here I took some medicine um they have a little bit of fears of doing the right thing. Um, I'm going to say for some of you, this talks about disputes. So there could be, um, especially with this five of wands, some of you, this could be you and somebody who, you know, had an argument or, you know, maybe uh, the two of you were not on the same page in the past. That could be why I'm seeing an apology here. But really, um, in a nutshell, this is somebody wanting to do things right, okay? And there's some sort of fear here associated with this. What's this person's fear? What's this person's fear? Oh, look at that. I'm sorry. Apology. Now, that's not going to uh, resonate with everybody. But some of you, this is someone who feels they owe you some sort of apology, Okay, and it may be, I'm going to say, this could be somebody um, in the past who wouldn't let you in, wouldn't let you get close to their heart. 
and they know that, right? You came closer than anyone. It could be somebody I'm feeling here that pushed you away, somebody who didn't let you in. Um, and I'm gonna say that can even be a friend. It doesn't have to be a love situation. It could be a family member, who, whatever your situation, all right? So interesting enough, I want to clarify on this page of cups. Tell me more about the page of cups. Tell me more about this page of cups. Oh, devil, Capricorn energy. And you also have here the page of pentacles. All right. This is somebody I'm hearing here. Can't let you go. Doesn't want you to go. It's almost like that. No matter what it all costs, I don't want to let you go. Okay. They could be, I feel like this person with all this energy here is obsessing. I feel they're obsessing over this, okay? There, again, it, there's a message here. There's a message. Look at that. You also have here the sun card, and you also have here the lovers. This is somebody making a decision from the heart. Could be a Gemini or a Leo. So I feel some of you, this is someone who um, wants to give you an apology, okay? There's a new chapter, a new beginning here. Okay, so, you know, I definitely get something about travel or distance. So this could be somebody uh, travel or distance from a distance. Some of you, it may just be a newer uh, energy of friend who lives at a distance. Okay, you may hear from this person. Okay, I see a new chapter. You also have here the Knight of Cups. Okay, we've seen three knights already. I feel like this is somebody, um, for a lot of you, it's a romantic opportunity it's someone who just feels that magnetism with you, okay? The sun card definitely is the happiest card in the deck, but I also uh, see this as um, a really good friendship. So some of you, this could be a really good friend who wants to take things to the next level. Others, I feel like this is somebody who um, definitely wants some sort of big change to happen between the two of you. And I feel like this person is obsessing about it. Now I'm going to also say here that the, uh, the, the caveat to this with the devil and the page of pentacles with this person, especially if it's a love situation. Um, if this is somebody who displayed some bad behavior or this is somebody that you've seen a pattern that devil could also tell me with the page of pentacles that they haven't changed okay so it definitely could be a pattern with this person okay to maybe pull away um, is what I'm getting or to run from their feelings or to get really caught up in their fears so just know that cancer that's like you know keep that in mind now i want to go to here um this ace of swords i'm going to put this uh knight of cups down here too tell me more about this ace of swords tell me more about this ace of swords two of pentacles king of swords six of pentacles okay and the queen of swords well the queen of swords there this person see it definitely feels like communication it feels like this is somebody where things have been out of balance here can also tell me that this is somebody coming towards you wanting to find the balance again with you king of swords coming to you i feel with communication look at that king and the queen of swords so this definitely could be somebody who tends to be a bit detached um you know emotionally they're more logical uh even practical with this energy uh you and this person are mirroring this per uh you and this person are mirroring each other Okay, I do see compatibility here too, but I'm also getting uh, this is someone who may see you kind of uh, in a very detached space right now. They may not see a whole lot of giving or emotion, but what I'm sensing here is that this is somebody who's hoping that when they reach out to you, you'll you'll welcome a conversation with them. Something you know, 
uh, Six of Pentacles. This uh, definitely shows me they're going to reach out. It shows that they're going to take this step here with the Page of Pentacles to, to give. Remember I said here they have to show that they have something to offer you. And look, I'm seeing the scales here. Remember the scales were here with disputes. Some of you, it's it's an energy where this person um, is coming towards you trying to do the right thing. Now, there this could be a situation where there, it's unstable um, or I'm going to say for some of you, this could be an on and off situation. Okay, that's where those of you where it's an on and off situation, you've seen some patterns with this person. That's probably why you're in this Queen of Swords energy. Uh, there's something here too. There may be something this person needs to really be honest with you about. Okay, I'm just going to ask with that King of Swords, uh, is there something that this person wants to say to Cancer? Hmm. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I am becoming a better person. Okay, well then that could tell me with the devil and the page of pentacles that this is somebody who, who is trying to become a better person. This could, this is the student. So it may be that this person learns, has to learn the hard way, so to speak you know, learn from their actions. Let's pull another card. Mm, I wish things could be different. I feel like this person is kind of seeing their flaws, right? Through this connection. Look at that. I wish I could share my good news with you. See, I feel like this person definitely misses you. They miss you. Now, I feel like there's something here with timing with I know I was a distraction from your pain. You may have met this person, I feel, and it may not resonate with everybody, but you may have met this person in a time in your life that, you know, maybe things weren't going really well, okay? And it, that could be why this person, I feel like their timing in their life wasn't right but let's see why the two wands i'm really feeling that this is someone you have history with tell me more about this two of wands tell me more about this two of wands oh look at this here we got an emperor this is somebody who is struggling okay and you know why they're struggling cancer i feel like this person feels like they're not in control right now they're not in control of the situation they're struggling. Okay, look at that. Nine of Wands. I feel they're struggling because this person really wants to communicate with you. You also have here the High Priestess, which is your energy. I feel like right now, maybe they don't know a lot of what is going on in your life is what I'm really sensing here. Let's see what the unexpected is here. And I think... Um, I'm going to start with, I'm just going to clarify with this deck first. Why is the tower here, please? Why is the tower here, please? Wow. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Hierophant. You've got strong Taurus energy. You have the Seven of Pentacles. And you also have here the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. What's unexpected here, remember I said in the beginning with the Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody who's going to come around. They're going to want to date you. Well, here is this person. They've been doing a lot of thinking about this. This is somebody who's wanting to put in the effort. We've seen the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, now the Eight of Pentacles. This is, this is what you're not expecting here is this person's coming around. And with all these pentacles, they're coming around a little. They're coming around, I'm going to say, more serious because, look, here's the Hierophant and here's the Knight of Swords, okay? I feel like this person, you know, I always see that Knight of Swords. Um, you know, I do see the Knight of Swords kind of as a chaser uh, coming in quickly. Um, it could tell me... Um, that this is somebody too who is feeling a bit anxious and restless and if they don't do something soon because they don't know what's going on with you, 
there's an energy here of mystery with you. Uh, I feel like this is going to happen pretty soon. Now we've seen all four knights because here's the knight of cups as well. Yeah, this, there's some sort of big change happening here, Cancer. And right now you probably don't see it. But that's uh, what I'm getting. I'm going to pull some final messages to see what else comes through here for you. What else can you share it with Cancer? Please share it with Cancer what they need to know. Yeah, see, another confirmation. Somebody that is missing you, you want missing you. Somebody feels ghosted here in the situation, whether it's you or this person, but it, again, it shows an ex-lover, um, a spark, okay, an old spark, an old flame here coming your way, and then look what you have here, home and foundation. So Cancer, you feel like home to this person, and what I get here, I feel like you and this person, there is definitely an energy of potential of you and this person, like working on the foundation, Okay, building a foundation. Like I said, the energy with all those pentacles shows me that this is somebody who is going to put the work in. Remember, I, I showed you here this Ace of Pentacles and this Ten of Pentacles. This person has the idea and knows what you want. And I feel like that is an indication, especially with this home. This could tell me that you and this person could end up living together or buy a home together or rent a home together. Uh, is what I'm seeing, right? There's definitely potential here. So Cancer, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.